welcome to today's edition of Mad Math Minute with Melvin and my co-host Maddie. So Maddie, what do we have today? Well Melvin, today we're going to talk about equivalent forms of rational numbers. That means we're going to learn how to convert between fractions, percents, and decimals. Since percent means per hundred, to write a percent as a fraction, you simply write the percent number over 100 and simplify. Oh, that's easy! Yes, and to write a fraction as a percent, you first write an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. So think, 5 times 20 is 100 and 3 times 20 is 60, so this is 60%. Oh, that's easy! And on 8 over 25, I would say 25 times 4 is 100, and 8 times 4 is 32, so it's 32%. To convert between percents and decimals, think about money. The percent would be cents, and the decimal would be how you write that much cents with a dollar sign. To write 45% as a decimal, think 45 cents. How would you write that with a dollar sign? 0.45. And to write 12.5% as a decimal, think, how would I write this much cents with a dollar sign? It's easier to think about 12 cents first and then tack on the 5. That's right. And to write 0 0.87 as a percent, put a dollar sign in front and read it. This is 87 cents, so it's 87%. And look at this one, guys. Cover up the 5 at first and read it. This is 37 cents. Then put a point five for that half a cent. For you guys that like rules, to write a decimal as a percent, you move the decimal point two places to the right, and to write a percent as a decimal, you move the decimal point two places to the left. We'll use the dripping paint strategy to write a decimal as a fraction. Dripping paint? Yes. Imagine the decimal point as a blob of paint that runs down and forms a 1. Write a 0 under each digit to the right of the decimal, and there's your fraction, 28 over 100. Of course, simplify to get an equivalent fraction. Oh, how cool. Let me try this one. The decimal point is like a blob of paint that runs down, and then I'll put three zeros. So my fraction is 75 over 1,000, which I can simplify to 3 over 40. Yes, and to write a fraction as a decimal, you will use a strategy called ice cream cone division. Ice cream cone? Yes, remember the fraction bar means division. Think of the numerator as the ice cream and the denominator as the cone. Melvin, do you keep ice cream or cones in the freezer? Uh, ice cream? That's right. This is to help you remember that the numerator goes underneath the long division symbol, it's the dividend, and the denominator goes on the outside, it's the divisor. Oh, I get it. Now simply put a decimal point in zeros and do the division. Keep going until you get a zero remainder. So 3 fortieths is 0 0.075 or 75 thousandths. You try this one, Melvin. Okay, the 5 is the ice cream, so it goes in the freezer, and the 8 goes on the outside. I'll put my decimal point in some zeros and keep on with my division until I get a zero remainder. So 5 eighths is 0 0.625, or 625 thousandths. That's right. Okay, guys, it's your turn to answer some questions. You can do it. 